Hello my friends, welcome to our program Voice of Faith. And in this program, we learn how to use this power that God has given us, which is called faith, to change our life. And for this to, uh, to happen, we need to apply what we hear, what we learn. This is not simply a program where you will hear uh, words like your life will change, even if you don't do a thing. <laughs> this is not that kind of program because we understand that faith is something that you have to put into action. Faith is something that once we practice, once uh, we put into action, it is uh, transformed into action, then we are going to see the results. If we do not take an action, then there is no result. Our life will remain the same. In fact, the Bible talks about this clearly in the book of James where it says there, but be doers. Do, pay attention to the word doers. Be doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving yourselves. What does it mean? It means that a person who think that they are a true believer because they know many things in the Bible, they can quote verses in the Bible. So for them, this is the basis of the, the strength of faith. Eh? They think that because I know many things in the Bible, my faith must be strong. That's not necessarily true because if we know many things in the Bible, but we do not put them into practice, then that kind of um, so-called faith is useless. Yes, it is useless. And that is why we, we need to understand that we need to uh, manifest our faith. We need to uh, put our faith into action. Because what's the point of hearing many strong things? And in fact, in our program, we are always uh, sharing with you the power of the Word of God, right? But what's the point of hearing all those wonderful testimonies, those amazing teachings, life-changing teachings, once you put it to practice? Eh? But if you do not practice them, they will just remain words and you will not see a thing in your life. And that's what James is trying to warn us about because many people are deceiving themselves. They think that they are believers. They think they are followers of Jesus because they know many things about the word. But he, it's very clear. He said that we have to be doers of the word and not hearers. Doer. In other words, putting them into practice. Every knowledge we have about the Word of God, if it is not accompanied by actions, attitude of faith, it will die. I'm telling you, you, you can just have knowledge. If you don't put into practice, it's going to die. Faith, if you read James, eh, the book of James, you will see uh, that he spoke very strongly about this, this um, detail about faith. He said that faith without action is dead. That's why you need to manifest your faith. How do we do that? By, by, by making actions, taking, taking steps. For example, in the church, we started this weekend what we call the miracle drop. Yeah? So if you need a miracle, you can come to church, bring a bottle of water. We're going to pray together. You're going to receive the drop of water that was blessed in Mount Sinai. We're going to pray together and we are going to uh, you know, call the attention of God because we know that when we manifest our faith, then God will take an action. That's why you can bring a bottle of water, okay? And then let's pray together for uh, the healing, for the miracle that you need. And not only that. So this Sunday, we have this uh, prayer for the water. You should bring a bottle of water. No? But not only that, we're also going to pray for our children, for our family, actually. Uh, it's called Master, I Brought You My Child. Uh, this is uh, uh, what the, the man, uh, a man in the Bible said to Jesus when he brought his son who was possessed by evil spirits. He brought him to Jesus so that Jesus could heal the boy. Yeah? So in the same way, we're going to be bringing the, the names of our family. 
going to be bringing the pictures of our family and we're going to present them to the Lord because we believe that when we put them in the hands of God, God will work in our family. So as you can see, huh? and not only this, we, we have others, others we're going we're gonna to do. But you see, we are taking action. It's not enough for us to say, I believe, I believe. No, we take action. So if you want to see the manifestation of God in your life, visit, uh, visit us, pray with us. You can contact this uh, number. There's a, a QR code here, uh, the bottom of the screen. Uh, the, the helpline is there. You can contact us even now. So you can receive uh, guidance from uh, the man of God, from the woman of God. If you have any details uh, that you want to know, so you can contact us. You can also visit us. Uh, our, our our address is uh, eight floor Trade Square Building six eight one Changshawan Road here in Kowloon. You can visit us. We are open every day. Okay, but listen, my friends, we have to take action. We have to take action because faith. If you are not going to take action, it's gonna it's dead. <laughs> That's the truth. It is dead. Okay, so let us put our faith into action, and we are going to see the attitude of God as well, the action of God in our life. May the Lord bless you all abundantly and we will be back uh, with all of you tomorrow, same time. Bye-bye.